Hi guys! I have an Aldi haul for you guys today. It's actually going to be Aldi and Walmart and I'm really rusty. I can't remember the prices of everything, but I'm going to try. I spent about $123 at Aldi and then plus a little at Walmart. Um, I don't know how much it was with Walmart because it just everything went in together. So I'm going to jump right into it. If you are interested in my meal plan, that should be on Vlogtober 2nd, the Vlogtober 2nd video. Um, I go through and I do my monthly meal plan, and I can kind of tell you with what I got and what I have, you know, what the meals are for for the week that I purchased for. But, um, but my monthly meal plan is in my Vlogtober 2nd video, so you'll want to check that out. Okay, to start out, we've got some huge bag of mozzarella cheese. It's eight cups. It costs about $6. The mild cheddar is about $3, I believe. I got some pepperoni. This is for my pizzas. I get the family, I accidentally got them two cheese, two pepperoni, but um, I get four frozen pizzas for my family every Thursday because that is what they prefer. But I don't eat frozen pizzas, so I got myself some pepperoni to go with the mozzarella. And then I also got this mini naan to use as my uh, crest. So, um, my entire family's here. So if you hear noises like Odin eating right now, <laughs> that's why. Uh, so I'm going to use these. And they're, you know, about the size of my hand. So that is like a perfect size for pizza. Um, and then the kids can have these for lunches too because I do have two at um, online school. So they're home all day. Okay, back over here, I got some pepper jack cheese. My son Michael really like, likes that. I got some sharp cheddar cheese for Josie's lunches, her school lunches, some provolone. I also got some hard salami here for Josie's lunches. And I also got some black forest ham, some the American slices, some sharp cheddar. Uh, Gabe likes that on his sandwiches. And then some hard salami there. Um, these are about $1.99. I grabbed, I grabbed two packs of hot dogs every single week. My son Michael likes these, and he will eat a whole package of hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> two bricks of cream cheese for dip and for bagels. Some cottage cheese. This is for um, just a snack with, as well as um, to mix with ricotta cheese that I already have uh, for stuffed shells. That's the dinner this week. I grabbed two of these. One fell on the floor here. <laughs> um, I use two of these when I make my taco seasoning or my taco meat because I make more than a pound. It's like a pound and a half for our family and some taco shells. Now we'll also be using probably some chips to go with the taco shells. I'm just like some regular tortilla chips. Then I grabbed a chunky salsa, a bunch of green bananas. I prefer my bananas green some um, hamburger dill chips for sandwiches um, they no longer the seasonal the seasonal sandwich pickles are gone then I grabbed a couple of these these are the caramelized onion and garlic pasta sauce I believe these are a seasonal lie uh, so I'm going to give that a try and these ones are as well um, this is the Italian sausage and pepper pasta sauce I have three bags of green grapes this week at Aldi. They were on sale for 99 cents a pound. The bananas were 39 cents a pound. These were 2.39. These are just tomatoes on the vine for Gabe's sandwiches. I picked up a bag of baker potatoes. They are 2.39, I believe, and some sweet onions at a dollar, dollar 39 or a dollar 89. I can't remember. Bag of some of my sweet chocolate chips for some chocolate chip cookies, some sugar, some flour, two boxes of spaghetti. The spaghetti was on sale for $1.39 this week, so I stocked up. Okay, so this is for me. <laughs> some of the dark chocolate. I am a huge dark chocolate fan, but I will most likely um, be splitting this. I, I'll eat a piece, maybe two a day, and then I, I share it with my kids. For lunches this week for the kids and just for some snacks, and I got two box bags of the Dupa, bleh, Duplex sandwich cream cookies. Um, oh, 
Odin needs to go outside, sorry. <laughs> I picked up a chicken broth for the chicken gnocchi that we're going to have. Hey, I'm remembering what we're having for dinner. Some cornstarch, this is a seasonal buy and I'm almost out so I grabbed it. This usually lasts forever. <laughs> uh, some clubhouse crackers for Michael, buttery round for Josie's uh, lunches, just some snacking crackers. Josie is a cracker fiend. And then I have some gallon size freezer bags. Another spur of the moment thing, this was right out at the um, registers, so of course I grabbed those because who can't resist caramels. I got some caramel apple dip to go with our caramel or our apples. Three loaves of Italian bread. Two bags of the white tortilla rounds. I still get those all the time. So this stuff is the stuff that I got at Walmart. I grabbed a half and half at Walmart this week because it works out to be about the same price as at Aldi and I just grabbed one big one at Walmart. I picked up some Folgers Classic Roast Coffee, some Clabber Girl uh, baking powder. Now I usually buy, I have been buying the Aldi baking powder, but I've been having issues with it not mixing in. It's been a struggle. I will mix and mix and mix and mix and I will inevitably find little bits of baking powder in our muffins and stuff. So I decided to go back to this and see if I had the same issue. Uh, I grabbed two pounds of butter. It was a little cheaper at Walmart this week. Some jumbo shells for stuffed shells. Eggs this week at Walmart were 99 cents for an 18 pack. And then I also grabbed the potato gnocchi from Walmart, and then I grabbed a huge thing of the string cheese. I usually buy it at Aldi, and it's like two something, two seventy nine for a twelve count. This was seven, almost eight dollars for a thirty six count, so it ends up being a little bit cheaper. And then the kids can eat it in their lunches as well as Gabe. So that is everything I got at Aldi and Walmart this week for our groceries. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.